Comrades, Supreme Command has learned that the Germans, in a state of desperation, are pinning all their hopes on one final assault against our central front. By achieving a victory here, they hope to overcome their crushing loss to the heroic defenders of Stalingrad, to again regain the offensive. It should come as no surprise that our great leader, Comrade Stalin, has decreed that this must not happen. Fortunately for us, our highly placed source within the ranks of German high command has uncovered critical details of their plans. We know, for example, that the specific target for their offensive, codenamed Operation Citadel, is our deceptively exposed salient near the outskirts of Kursk. I say deceptively because for the past several weeks we have secretly built up layer upon layer of fortified defensive earthworks where we have deployed the greatest concentration of anti-tank weapons ever committed to a single position. We will need these, for it has come to our attention that the Germans are committing all their available armor to the upcoming offensive, including some new and experimental models. We have been steadily building up our forces, and even now, trainloads of fresh reserves are arriving at the scene. Comrades, our goal here is to break the back of the German armored forces, leaving them incapable of ever again mounting an effective offensive. Once this has been accomplished, our final victory will be assured.
now. Next, they attack. Wait for it, comrades! Hold your fire! Wait for it! Machine guns! Machine guns ready! There they are! Fire!
charges on them! You men, provide covering fire! Regroup on the north side of the trenches when you are done! are moving through the village, trying to flank us. We have been ordered to drive them out.
Good to see you, comrades. We must clear this village and defend the bridge until our reinforcements arrive. If the Germans take it, we will be surrounded. Ready? Let's go! Yeah. 